What's up guys, it's Preets. Many of you guys may actually know me from the Getting Dead God video I released last May. In that video, I may or may not have used some methods to finish Taya Jacob that many people thought were, let's just say, disgraceful. But if you use glitches like exiting the game right before Asa explodes, then you can just go throughout without turning into the Lost Form, and it makes it a lot easier, and I know it's a little cheaty, but that is a easy glitch that you can use to abuse getting completion marks with Jacob. So in today's video, I will be redeeming myself. This is my Tainted Jacob, redemption arc oh wait i don't even have my watermark on watermark the goal of the stream was to stay live until i got every single tainted jacob completion mark but today yeah we are going to be doing all the tainted jacob completion marks i had a lot of choices on who i could go to first since i was starting with a blank slate so chat told me to go to beast so like the dumb person i am i listened to them you guys want me to go beast first put your no i'm not putting my little i'm not putting my little figurine in a jar this run was promising i had some pretty good items i was confident in myself but the fight was much harder than i really expected dogma static brimstone cornered me and dark asa took his opportunity to strike me down oh okay maybe maybe this fight is a little harder than i expected Oh my gosh. Okay, guys. Well, that first run was really good. Dying to the Static Brimstone is common, though, but can I just say how BS it is? They just kept using the same attack. Like, if he was to switch it up a little bit, you know, that'd been fine, but no. Just the Static Brimstone over and over. I was not going to let this phase me. I was just going to save Dogma for a later time and get some easier completion marks. This first run probably gave me way too much confidence. I proceeded to die nine times after this only making a very little amount of progress i was able to beat isaac and blue baby which is pretty easy because i had glowing hourglass so anytime i made a mistake i could pretend it didn't happen and just go back in time sadly on this juicer of a run mega satan was too much for me to handle and the glowing hourglass couldn't save me this time we're doing a lot of damage very quick right now okay good not the best thing ever yeah this sucks I can't pay attention to Asa. That's such a stupid thing. We at least got two completion marks that time. So far, Tina Jacob was just death after death. I was making a lot of really dumb mistakes. And my main mistake I was making was I was just letting Asa touch me, making me go into my ghost form where I was one shot. But no matter how many times Asa knocked me down, I got back up. I finally felt like I was getting the hang of Tana Jacob at this point. I started a new run with a special gleam in my eyes. It was time to put my gamer pants on and just stop all this dying. First, I found Continuum, then Polyphemus, then Incubus, and I knew this run was probably in the bag. I was able to beat Boss Rush, and I was unstoppable. Nothing could bring this run to an end. As long as that nothing wasn't Hush, though. Sadly, Hush is a stupid boss. I'm an even stupider player, so, you know, I died. Hey, get away, get away, get away. Yeah, I'm dead. Five hours in and I only had five completion marks to my name. And I just want to take this time to say I already did have two completion marks, Satan and Lamb. I don't know when I really got those. I know I did it on stream, but I couldn't find the footage. So I think I maybe streamed it on Twitch. But like going to Satan and Lamb are pretty much the same as going to Isaac and Blue Baby. I know it's not. But here is a nice little representation of what it was like beating them. After a couple more runs, I was finally able to beat Hush with the classic Mom's Knife Ipecac combo chef kisses this right here is the best chance we have like it's like I i'm feeling pretty dang solid about this bro he just goes underground for way too long no don't go underground now this is not the time we just gotta go tank it we gotta go tank it we gotta go tank it let's go that's the hush completion mark done let's go guys that's huge like that's really really big at this point i was starting to feel a little bit more comfortable with tan jacob dare i say i was kind of enjoying playing him Sadly, after Hush, I decided to take Dad's key so I could attempt to fight Mega Satan, but I couldn't even make it out of Cathedral. Maybe I hate Tainted Jacob still. I don't know. I st I'll never know. At this point, I had been streaming for over six hours straight of Tainted Jacob torture, so I wanted to change things up a little bit, so I decided to play some Greedier. Greedier will always be one of my least favorite completion marks to get, as it's one of those game modes that you either love what's happening or you hate everything that's going on. This is one of those times I absolutely hated everything my first one was kind of a dumpster fire 5.5 tier rate 5.5 damage not really a recipe for success if you ask me it wasn't long before the shot floor simply overwhelmed me and i died to death yeah this is this is gaming oh my gosh this is not gaming this is not gaming i don't even see enemies anymore i just see things going across my screen that are many colors we're good <laughs> i almost got hit real bad right there this might be bad Oh man, that sucks. This death called for a much needed pizza break. So chat and I watched some albino content. You know, I had to cover his face up so it looked like it was my own content. What? Oh gosh, that's loud. 
After this pizza break, I had the fury and the strength of an Italian armada. This newfound strength I had was all I needed to overcome this completion mark. And I finally did it. We got another tiers up. We Yira everything and we win game. Hey, that would have been nice to have earlier. We have homing on our like dead eye, which is insane. Literally all I'm doing right now is watching Asa. He's so scary. Let's go, boys. With Greeter done, all I had left were the big four. Mega Satan, Delirium, Beast, and Mother. Having just beat Greeter, I felt like I was on top of the world. And I was ready to take on the first boss that put me down mercilessly. That's a hard word to say. It was time to go back to Beast. I don't really know if it was some crazy luck or improved skill to Tana Jacob, but this time around, I was able to get Dogma out of the way with no issues. There were a few close calls, I'll admit, but I avenged my prior death. And now all that was left was the marathon of a fight that is Beast. I had six hearts of health going into this fight, but one big problem, I had Mars. For those of you who don't know what Mars does, it is an item that makes you dash in a straight line when you double tap a certain direction. The issue is, is on controller, when you're making small movements, the game sometimes registers those movements as double taps. Let's just say I blame Mars for a lot of the dumb damage I took during this fight. Once I finally got to the beast fight, I only had a heart and a half of health, three hits of damage, and I would be dead. The worst thing about this part of the fight was that it was heavily reliant on small movements to dodge stalagmites and stalactites. One bad double tap, and I could kiss this win goodbye. My nightmare became a reality though. Beast was sucking in her large fiery circles of death and it happened. I took the express train straight to Lava Town and I now only had a half a heart. Luckily me being the absolute 500 IQ gamer I am, I made sure to bring an Alge's rune. So I had 30 seconds of invincibility to take out Beast. As soon as I got Beast to phase two, however, my Alge's shield was gone. I now had to maneuver a never ending tunnel of the sharpest rocks this side of the Mississippi without taking any damage. My focus tunnel visioned, chat no longer existed, I couldn't even speak. It was just me and the game. Cringe. With careful movement and major focus, I was able to finally take down Beast. My first death was finally avenged. There were only three more bosses to go, but these three are some of the hardest bosses in the game. If you saw this stream, the title was not ending this stream until I get all Tina Jacob completion marks. And apart from that being the world's longest title, it was also completely a lie. After this big win, it was 11 PM. And I decided that I would call it quits, get some good sleep and come back to Tina Jacob first thing in the morning. How is everybody doing? We are back. We are going to be getting these last completion marks done and over with. Day two started and I was ready to do nothing but win. The first run started off as hot as you can possibly get. Attached to the starting room was not only an item room, but also a 1% planetarium. With Mercurius in, wherever the characters keep their items, I knew this run would be one for the books. Sadly, this book wouldn't really have a happy ending. The mom fight, as always, proved to be much harder than ever before because of Dark Asa. He really just taunts you as you're berated by tears, and he got me. He got me good. Day two started off with a rough loss, and the next run really wasn't any better. I made it all the way to Mega Satan with a really good build, but once again, I died. I'm so bad. The third run of the day took a turn for the better, however. First floor, I was graced with the presence of the one and only C section. Oh, at the end of it. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys. This is good. Arguably the most overpowered item in the entire game. With C section by my side, I took down boss after boss showing no mercy by the time i got to mega satan my c-section babies learned how to drop tactical nukes i was ready as i ever would be i made mega satan look like he was monstro he couldn't do anything to stop me apart from making me lose half my health but he couldn't do anything to stop me asa couldn't touch me and just watched as i took down this goliath of a boss all is well boys please delirium please delirium if i could have any wish right now just be delirium you guys like that strat right there? Please, come on, please, come on, please. This is a good sign, right? No, good, no. All I needed was the delirium portal to spawn. And I could easily use this insane combo to get one of my last two completion marks. But of course, with my luck and how the Tan Jacob grind was going, the delirium portal did not show up. No delirium boss, no completion mark, nothing. My only guaranteed way of getting to Delirium would be Hush, and that's not something that I was mentally prepared for. So this was now the time to go and face Mother. After a few runs with no luck and bad deaths, I finally had what seemed like a good run. It was like deja vu. The first item room was once again C-section. Sadly, the power got to my head, and while I wasn't paying attention, Asa slithered his slimy little body up to me 
and put me into lost form. With an entire health bar full of hearts, I was killed with one foul lunge from the visage. Gosh, dang it, bro. That's so stupid. Car battery sucks. Like, why not release both the Neo Solas at one time? After this, it was just death after death. I was close to losing hope until finally I had a good run. I went to the mother fight with two jellos and a lot of damage. All was going well until Asa was hiding behind some random garbage at the top of the screen. No, no, come on, come on. What was that? I was now one hit from dying. I had only just gotten to the second phase. After a lot of complaining and a little bit of self-encouragement, I was able to use the skill I had accumulated to this point and flawlessly take out Mother. Let's go! Let's <laughs> that was far, far too stressful. After over 10 hours of streaming in two days, I was finally down to my last completion mark, but this one would be the hardest. The plan was simple. Go to Hush, get the Delirium Portal, kill Delirium. It was going to be the easiest thing possible. My first run, I made it to Hush and I died. My second run, I got to It Lives too late and died in Sheol. My third run, well, we don't talk about my third run. I got this, Asa. Don't. Asa, I said I got it. Asa's a jerk. That's such a strat and a half right there. Bob's brain is OP. Guys, don't ever say anything bad about Bob's brain. Finally, my fourth run, the stars were aligning. On the first floor in the curse room, I got Dead Cat with a 200 IQ play while in ghost form. Honestly, I could have died really easily if you look at that little fire right there, but hey, I was fine. Then I got a 1% chance planetarium, and inside I got Terra, which is a great damage up. Luck was finally on my side. I proceeded to get conjoined, lost contact, and a bunch of other great items, and all I needed to do was not mess this up and beat Hush. I get to Hush. 5 health and the dream. I managed to only take a single hit of damage before taking down Hush. And the best part about this is we do have an I'm Drowsy pill, so that means we do get an easy, easy, easy Delirium fight as long as we don't do anything stupid, which I think is the easiest part of this run now. Not doing something stupid, achievable. We took one hit of damage during that whole fight. Let's go. Now we go down to the void and we can continue our run. This was the sprint to the finish. All that was left was taking the portal to Delirium and taking him down. I finally make it to the boss fight and quickly start doing an insane amount of damage. Seeing this fight was going to be in the bag, I started my victory speech. It's about drive. It's about power, guys. If, if we learned one thing during this run, it's about perseverance and not taking dumb damage like I'm taking. 16 or 17, maybe 18 hours of streaming, 18 hours of grinding. We went from no completion marks to this many completion marks. All of this, all the pain, all the suffering, all the stupid things I've done have led to this. The most beautiful run of all. Like, look at this. Look at this. This is like every Isaac player's wet dream. I don't think I need to add the word wet in front of that, but there we go, guys. That right there is Tainted Jacob. Done and over with. We are done with Tainted Jacob for the save file. Let's go. And that right there was my Tainted Jacob redemption arc. I know that post-patch Tainted Jacob is a lot easier than pre-patch Tainted Jacob now, but I hope you guys did enjoy watching me complete one of my least favorite characters in the game, which is probably now one of my favorites. So if you guys did enjoy the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps my channel grow. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, it's Impreets. Peace out. Bye.